Hi, I'm Paul the Resta. Please come and join me while I draw a map of Mugello and give you the ins and outs of which I believe will make a good race and a good lap of Mugello. Here we will start by drawing the main straight. Um, this is probably the best place and the only place that you're going to make a passing manoeuvre. Um, you're going to gain a good slipstream down the straight. Entering corner one, you know it's quite difficult, quite fast, very bumpy. Um, from there on we're going to enter a series of chicanes which are going to be very demanding on the car um, as there are some big curbs on the, the inside. It's going to be difficult to run close to these curbs um, and also to run close to the cars in front as now we're going to enter a very fast stage of the track which is going to be difficult to follow cars closely um, during the race, a race situation. Um, these are probably the fastest corners we're going to do all year, uh, the most demanding on the tyre so tyre degradation is going to be extremely hard. From there we enter another tight chicane, um, braking area is very short um, and, and from here on you know you're really starting to think about how you're going to line the next person up. Um, here we have a very fast chicane which is, is very difficult, um, from there on we're going to lead to the last corner. Now this is where you're really going to concentrate on running close to somebody to try and gain a good slipstream to um, pass them down the straight. Pit stops is also quite demanding to, to get the braking areas to get into the pits, um, and you know that that's really what I believe is going to you know make a, a good um, strategy for Magello. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and hope to see you soon. Which of you guys would like to win my map of Magello? Could you answer the question, please? Which DTM rookie? finished third in Mugello last year? A, Paul De Resta, B, Tom Christensen, or C, Bruno Spengler?